What's happening guys? A lot of you have been asking about the name change from Rated R to Full Mag, so I'm gonna try to run through this as fast as possible and try not to get long-winded, but um, so I've got some notes here. Um, Rated R was a little hard to say and confusing to tell new people about it, so I remember those awkward conversations when trying to explain to people what I did before. Uh, I told them what my name was so that they didn't initially think that I was doing porn. Oh, you make videos for the internet? What? Oh, what, where can I find it? Oh, you can find it at Rated RR. <laughs> it's 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 one step worse than Rated R. Um, yeah. So I and then I'd have to get in that conversation and be like, Oh no, it's like RR, like my initials. And um, the name was really egocentric and it was like a way of me representing myself and the stuff that I do. But over the last seven years, you guys have grown with me into something that's way bigger than just myself. So a couple years ago, I started working on Full Mag and slowly started introducing you guys to it on my email list. And I'm not going to go into all the details until I officially launch, but this year is going to be really really cool uh, it's gonna be really exciting for me because I'm gonna introduce you to some new shows that I've been working on some friends some new channels all along with my websites and whatnot so uh, last summer I also introduced you guys to the new logo and I'm not a big fan of people labeling their audience like what's up rated RR heads I mean I get it for branding reasons and it's a great way for them to measure how many of their viewers show up in the comments of places that they send them to but I don't know, maybe it's just me, but when I was making the new logo, I wanted something that represented us and not so much me. So without getting too long-winded, dogs have been a major part of my life. And between like one of my first jobs was actually training labs or Labrador retrievers for those of you who don't, aren't from the canine world. What, dude? What is it, buddy? I'm trying to vlog here. You get over here. You get over here right now. <laughs> um, yeah. You want to say hi, George? Say hi, bud. You got stuff all over your nose. You've been snorting the cocaine. Um, yeah, so dogs have been a big part of my life. I like strain here. Um, uh, started training in Labradors as one of my first jobs whenever I was a kid. And uh, when I moved out to Los Angeles, I spent a lot of time volunteering at the animal shelters. And just an FYI, you won't hear me talk a lot about charity or slacktivism, but. I, uh, I feel most of us can make a bigger impact on society if we donate our most valuable resource, which is our time. Um, and having said that, I, I do, uh, uh, so, uh, I can't talk, I'm trying to do this without any cuts, but uh, having said that, you know, there's, um, there's things that do require our voices and, um, you know, I, I worked with Senator Richard Blumenthal's office on promoting the canine members of the Armed Forces Act and so on. And I can go on, but you get the point. I like dogs. Um, and the pack mentality of the whole wolf like, fits perfectly. Uh, and I'd like to think that most of you guys listening are, you know, like-minded individuals. And we, though we might disagree, we can have an intelligent conversation from time to time, maybe on in the comments, maybe not intelligent sometimes they're they're not really <laughs> but you get the point um, you know I, I feel like the new logo lets you guys know that I see you just as much a part of this as myself and without you guys the pack wouldn't exist and I wouldn't be able to do this so thank you um, on a side note I, I thought most of you guys would recognize but I'd like to point out that in case you didn't see it the two eyes are ours, so I, I can't believe more people haven't pointed that out. I thought it would just be so obvious to you guys, but um, I don't know. I, I, I just wanted you to know that, like, you know, though the name changed and the logo changed, it's still me. I'm st still a one-man show. I'm not some massive corporation that is just bought out by these big entities and I've just got all these staff and I've got people running around editing for me and I've got like all of these cameramen and people producing for me. No, I'm, the reason why my videos aren't necessarily as consistent as they probably should be is because I do pretty much everything myself and producing is extremely difficult. So anyways, I'm straying. Um, 
There's also a few other reasons for the name change too, and I won't bore you with all the mumbo jumbo, but there's a few legalities that played into it. Between my website and a few other things, I needed to make the switch, and again, I can't really give too much away, but I may or may not be working with a camera company on launching my own slow motion camera, and uh, the legalities around licensing names and trademarks can make stuff weird and everything. So anyways, I've rambled on enough. I think you guys get the point. It's a new name, it's a new logo, same me, and some really exciting stuff coming here real soon. So if you guys see someone in the comments of a video asking about the name change, let them know or just refer them to this video or something like that. I might do another vlog this week and then I'm off to SHOT Show. So thanks for all the support guys and I will see you soon. That's a new logo. My fat head with the strap all the way out. <laughs>